This podcast is brought to you by the School of Advanced Study, University of London. All of our podcasts are available from our website, www.sas.ac.uk. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, My name is Kevin Middlebrook. I'm a member of the academic staff here at the Institute for the Study of the Americas. Uh, The Institute's director, Professor Maxine Molyneux, has been fighting uh, actually two viruses over the last 10 days, and so she sends her apologies for her inability to be with us uh, this afternoon. Uh, It's my great pleasure to welcome you to this panel on the transition from war to peace in El Salvador, uh, commemorating the 20th anniversary of the signing of the historic uh, peace accords. Uh, And we have uh, to explore both the process and its longer-term evolution and consequences a truly distinguished uh, panel of experts. Uh, We're especially fortunate to have with us uh, Ambassador Werner Matias Romero, uh, El Salvador's ambassador uh, here in the UK, uh, and we're grateful to the embassy for their uh, financial support uh, for this event. I'm going to uh, turn to Ambassador Matias Romero for some general opening remarks, and he will prevent, uh, present the short uh, kind of bio sketches of the panelists, uh, and we'll uh, have a discussion of about 20 minutes uh, per person. We hope of uh, ending more or less uh, at 6.30, so that there's time uh, for a question and answer between panelists and, and the audience. Ambassador. Thank you, uh, Kevin, and thank you to everyone, and welcome. Um, first, I would like to make uh, some um, appreciation, actually, appreciation remarks to several people that have made this event possible. Uh, Jenny Pierce and Mo Hume and Diego Sanchez and Ochea, thank you for being uh, here and for your dedication to working on El Salvador and uh, on the Central American region. We feel very honored and grateful that academics of your stature uh, have contributed so much with your work uh, to the development of our country and of our region. Uh, many thanks also to our friends here at the Institute of the Study of the Americas at the University of London for hosting us today, and in particular to its director, Maxime Molineux, to Kevin Middlebrook, and to Olga Jimenez that has been so grateful in uh, uh, advising us and also in preparing this room. Um, the 1992 uh, peace accords are, without any doubt, the most important event in the recent history of the Salvador nation. 20 years ago, on 16th January 1992, in the Chapultepec Castle in Mexico City, the governments of El Salvador and the FMLN delegations under the auspices of the Secretary General of the United Nations and having as witnesses the presidents of Central America, Spain, Colombia, Venezuela, and Mexico signed the peace accords that put an end to a a civil war in our country. The 1992 peace accords are an enormous and exemplary achievement that changed us Salvadorans forever. The end of an arduous peace journey that started up north in El Salvador in La Palma in 1984, a process that was perceived by some as self-defeating and unpromising. The strength and hope of the Salvadoran people proved them wrong. They showed that no differences of ideology or of political belief are greater than our common condition as Salvadorans. They laid the foundations for a pluralist political system that has proved more enduring and flexible than perhaps any of us and many of us here in this room dared to hope at that time. And by accomplishing that, the Peace Accord helped shape Salvadorans and El Salvador of the 21st century. We Salvadorans and all of our friends and supporters in the international community can feel, proud, can feel profoundly proud of this achievement. In the words of one FMLN negotiator at that time, the peace accords 
were not supposed to bring us to heaven, but rather get us out of hell. And that's a very telling phrase. Indeed, we're still a long way from heaven. We face all kinds of challenges ahead, such as insecurity in the region, the adverse effects of climate change, and most of all, poverty and social exclusion. But one thing we've learned once and for all, and is that we cannot solve them through violence, and that we cannot solve them alone. So today, guided by the insights of these distinguished scholars, we intend to learn more and discuss the lessons learned from our transition from war to peace. And most important of all, to reflect on what we still need to do, our challenges ahead in the political, social, and economic fronts. So we look forward to hearing from our friends and engaging in a fruitful discussion. Finally, I just want to um, invite you to visit our website that you can see in our banner, where you will find a lot of information on the history of the 1992 Peace Accords, including documents that are very historic, news, videos, photographs, and messages from Salvadorans all over the world regarding this historic event. So thank you very much again for being here with us. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and perhaps just do a brief presentation of, of our panelists today. Um, some of them perhaps are, are very well known to a lot of you. Mo Hume is um, a lecturer in politics at the University of Glasgow. She's an author of the Politics of Violence, Gender, Conflict, and Community in El Salvador, a book that was published by Willie Blackwell in uh, 2009. <coughs> and has published on the problems of post-transitional violence in Central America in a number of academic journals, including the Latin American Perspectives, the Bulletin of Latin American Research and Democratization. And uh, from 1997 to 2000, Mo worked as a local development and gender advisor with Progresio <coughs> and Movimiento de Mujeres Medida de la Montes in Pasado. Jenny Beard, is uh, a professor of Latin American politics and director of the International Center for Participation Studies in the Department of Peace Studies at the University of Bradford. She is a specialist in issues of violence, conflict, social change, and social, uh, and social agency in Latin America, and has published widely on these themes, including on El Salvador, uh, Promised Land, Peasant Rebellion in Chalatenango, El Salvador, um, a book by uh, 19, 1985, right? By, uh, in London, by the Latin American, uh, Latin American Bureau. Finally, uh, Diego Sanchez Sancochea is a lecturer uh, at the in politi political economy at the Latin America um, American Center at the University of Oxford. And, um, he is a governing body fellow at the St. Anthony's College. His research concentrates on income inequality, social policy, and the political economy of development with particular attention to small Latin American countries, such as the Central American countries. He's currently working on a research project on universal social policy in Costa Rica with uh, Juliana Martinez, and he's starting another one with uh, Rosemary Ford, they know that. Oh, that's very interesting. On the long term impact of recent reduction of inequality in Latin America. So, again, welcome to the three of you. Uh, welcome to you and look forward to your insights. 